tricky question on this, just to stay in this a little longer, because I'm not sure how to think about it, is the World War II versus the Holocaust. When we're, when we were talking just now about the way that history unrolls itself and could Hitler have been stopped. And I, I don't quite know what to think about Hitler without the Holocaust. And perhaps in his thinking, how essential the anti-Semitism and the hatred of Jews was. It feels to me that I mean, I don't, uh, we were just talking about where did he pick up his hatred of the Jewish people? There's uh, there's stories in Vienna and so on that it almost is picking up th the idea of uh, anti-Semitism as a really useful tool, as opposed to actually believing it in his core. D do you think World War II, as it turned out, and Hitler as, it, as he turned out, would be possible without anti-Semitism? Could we have avoided the Holocaust? Or was it an integral part of the ideology of fascism and the Nazis? Not an integral part of fascism, because Mussolini really, I mean, it right. was, Mussolini did it to please Hitler, but it wasn't an integral part. What's interesting to me is that that's the big anomaly in the whole question, because anti-Semitism didn't need to be a part of this at all. Right, Hitler had a conspiratorial view of the world. He was a believer that the Jews controlled things. Right, the Jews were responsible for both Bolshevism on one side and capitalism on the other. They ruled the banks. I mean, the United States was a Jewified country. Right, uh, Bolshevism was was a, a, a Jewified sort of a, a, a political. In other words, he saw Jews everywhere. And he had that line about if the Jews of Europe uh, uh, force another war to Germany, they'll pay the price or whatever. But then you have to believe that they're capable of that. The, the Holocaust is a weird, weird sidebar to the whole thing. And here's what I've always found interesting. It's a sidebar that weakened Germany. Because look at the First World right. War. Jews fought for Germany, right? Who was the most important and this is a very arguable point, but it's just the first one that pops into my head. Who was the most important Jewish figure that would have maybe been on the German side had the Germans had a non-anti-Semitic, well, listen, that whole well, part- Einstein whole, and Yeah, all. yes, it was Einstein. But, but the whole, I should point out that to say Germany or Europe or Russia or any of those things were not anti-Semitic is to do injustice to history, right? right. Pogroms everywhere. I mean, yes. that is the, that is, it's standard operating procedure. What, what you see in the Hitlerian era is an absolute huge spike, yes. right? Because the government has a conspiracy theory that the Jews have. It's funny because- Hitler both thought of them as weak and super powerful at the yes. same time, right? And <laughs> and and as an outsider people that weakened Germany, I mean, the whole idea of the blood and how that connects to Darwinism and and, and yeah. you know, all that sort of stuff is just weird, right? A real outlier. But Einstein, let's just play with Einstein. If there's no anti-Semitism in Germany. Or, or or none above the normal level, right? right? Um, <laughs> the baseline level. Um, does Einstein leave along with all the other uh, uh, Jewish scientists? And I mean, and and what does Germany have as as increased technological and and intellectual capacity if they stay? Right? It's something that actually weakened that state. It's it's a tragic flaw in in the Hitlerian worldview. But it was so, and and I do. Uh, let me. You had mentioned earlier, like maybe it was not integral to his character. Maybe it was a wonderful tool for power. Yes. I don't think so. Somewhere along the line, and really not at the beginning, this guy became absolutely obsessed with this with and, a conspiracy theory yeah, and Jews, and 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 he surrounded himself. Uh, with people and theorists, I'm going to use that word yes, really, yes. really sort of loosely, who believe this too. And so you have a cabal of people who are reinforcing this idea that the Jews control the world, that inter he called it international Jewry, was a huge part of the problem, and that because of that, they deserve to be punished. They were an enemy within, all these kinds of things. It's a, it's a nutty conspiracy theory that the government of one of the most I mean, the big thing with Germany was culture, right? They were they were they were a leading figure in in culture and philosophy and all these kinds of things, and that they could be overtaken 
with this wildly, wickedly weird conspiracy theory and that it would actually determine things. I mean, Hitler was taking vast amounts of German resources and using it to wipe out this race when he needed them for all kinds of other things to fight a war of, of annihilation. So that is the weirdest part of, of the whole Nazi f- uh, phenomenon. It's the, the darkest possible silver lining to think about is that the Holocaust may have been, and the hatred of the Jewish people may have been the thing that avoided Germany getting the nuclear weapons first. And, and <laughs> isn't, isn't that a wonderful historical ironic twist that if it weren't so overlaid with tragedy, a thousand years from now will be seen as something really kind of funny. Well, that's, that's true. It's fascinating to think as you've talked- Sowed the seeds of his own destruction, right? The tragic flaw.